spiraling, circular, elaborate, geometrical designs, unusual zodiac symbols, unknown constellations, alien plants, human organs, possibly, naked women floating in what could be green baths or clouds, other naked women connected to pipes. All these bizarre images come together in the Voynich Manuscript, a 234-ish page illustrated book written in the 15th century. Almost certainly, you want answers. What in the world could these 234 pages be about? There is something strikingly mystical about all these fanciful pictures in them. Yet, the book could very well be a scientific work. Perhaps the alien plants are real medicinal plants that we simply haven't identified. Maybe the bathing women are demonstrating a certain healing technique for the reader. But what's with all the perhaps and maybes and speculations? Why don't we know? Here is the kicker. The Voynich manuscript is written in an unknown language of loops and curves. A code, undecipherable, even to the many, many, many experts who have tried to crack it over the past 600 years. The rest of the world wants answers too, and we haven't found them yet. History of the manuscript. We don't know exactly where the manuscript came from. Much progress has been made towards uncovering the manuscript's origin. In 2009, radiocarbon dating determined that there is a 95% chance the parchment came from somewhere between the years of 1404 and 1438. So that's when. Roughly how about who and where? Holy Roman Emperor Rudolf II, who ruled from 1576 to 1611, may have been the first to own the book. Further evidence suggests that Rudolf purchased it for 600 ducats, which would be about 90,000 today, from English mathematician John Dee. It's certain, at least, that the book was in possession of Rudolf's court chemist, Jacobus Horiki D. Tepinik, whose signature was found on the book using ultraviolet light. From Tepinik, the book went quietly from person to person until 1912. Enter Wilfred Voynich, the Polish antique books dealer, after whom the book was named. In Southern Europe, the not yet Voynich manuscript caught his eye. According to him, it was such an ugly duckling compared with the other manuscripts, with their rich decorations in gold and colors, that my interest was aroused at once. In 1915, Wilfred Voynich brought the manuscript to the United States. In 1920, it became famous after someone proposed a translation that was debunked in 1931. The manuscript's journey finally came to an end in 1960s. In 1961, it was purchased by another antique dealer, H.P. Krauss, for $24,500. Krauss tried to resell it for $160,000, but failed. And in 1969, he donated it to Yale University. Today, the book remains at Yale's Beinicke Rare Book and manuscript library. But enough of that history lesson. How about the book itself? Inside the manuscript. The Voynich manuscript can be divided into six or seven sections. Depending on who you ask, some might say a very different number entirely. We are going with seven in order. They are botanical, astronomical, cosmological, zodiac, biological, pharmaceutical, and recipes. The botanical or herbal section is home of the drawings of alien plants. At least, they are probably alien plants, though many attempts have been made to identify them, some more convincing than others. Even back in the 1940s, herbal experts were already looking at the illustration and seeing sunflowers and pepper plants. The astronomical section features, as you might expect, the sun and moon and stars. Here be the unknown constellations although those, too, are slowly being identified. The cosmological section has those circular, geometrical shapes. This is perhaps the most mysterious section. Not much to say, because we are not sure what they are. Maps? Buildings? Abstract designs? The zodiac section is self-explanatory. Strangely, the zodiac pages starts with Pisces rather than Aries, the latter of which is much more common. The symbols of the zodiac signs themselves are also strange. In this manuscript, Scorpio looks nothing like a scorpion. The biological section might actually tie with cosmological, for most mysterious. This is where all the naked women and pipes and green-colored liquids or clouds are. 
as well as shapes that could be human organs. Words cannot describe these outlandish images. A simple search on the internet will lead you to them, since they've caught so many people's attention. The pharmaceutical section has illustrations of containers along with plants. Unlike the botanical section, the pharmaceutical plants are small, incomplete pieces, roots, leaves, and the like. This suggests that they may be medicinal, hence the name of the section. Finally, the recipe section is presumably exactly what it sounds like. Hard to tell, since this section is text only, with various styles of stars in the margin. The commonly accepted idea is that these are pharmaceutical recipes. In short, the Voynich manuscripts appears to be a book of magic, science, or perhaps both. Geometry and the cosmos are equal parts mystical. Those parallel circles, those zodiac signs, and analytical, mathematics and astronomy, with such an interesting juxtaposition, who wouldn't want to discover the secrets hidden in these pages? From amateurs to authorities, a countless number of people have tried to uncode the Voynich manuscript. There's an active forum, a fandom page. There is no universal consensus and no solid way of proving any of the many theories in existence. Is the manuscript a cipher or a different language? Latin, Welsh, Manchu, Nahuti? Is it a medical book, a spiritual one, or completely meaningless? Since the first debunked translation in 1920, there have been many false alarms. In 2016, an attempt to use artificial intelligence did nothing but add one more questionable hypothesis to the port. The manuscript might be in Hebrew. In 2017, television writer Nicholas Gibbs made headlines when he claimed to have solved the manuscript, identifying it as a guide to women's health. This was quickly debunked. It could be a guide to women's health, but there's no solid evidence. In 2018 and 2019, different people, independent of each other, claimed to have cracked it as well. Both again face high skepticism. Perhaps physicist Andreas Schinner was right all along, and the manuscript was written by an autistic monk who subconsciously followed a strange mathematical algorithm in his head. We want answers, and we may never have them. When it comes to the Voynich manuscript, most everyone will feel vaguely intrigued or curious. A specific kind of person might feel drawn to it even further, driven to try their hand at decoding it themselves. An even more specific kind of person might find themselves consumed by it. Scholars and lay people alike have gotten lost in the mysterious pages of the manuscript. If you are that kind of person, you already understand. The fantastical, almost unnerving illustrations, the flowing script, the unknown, is all very alluring. And there is that rush you might get from what if. What if you discovered the truth of the Voynich manuscript? What if it contains some secret of the universe? Just waiting to be unlocked. Rationality says that reality is probably more mundane. An outdated 15th century guide to various sciences, a book of old herbal remedies, even a hoax. But so long as the manuscript remains a mystery, we are free to imagine anything. Hey, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video and welcome if you are new to the channel. If you like this video and want to see more, why not subscribe? Leaving a like and a comment also goes a long way. Looking forward to seeing you on the next one. Goodbye.